Hi, this is David Harper, Bonic Turtle, with a brief illustration of how we use the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus to determine the price or yield of a plain vanilla bond. By plain vanilla, I mean nothing fancy, a coupon bearing bond without any embedded options. And right here, I've mapped the keystrokes on the Texas Instruments calculator. They're on the third row. And in the calculator terms, these are time value of money keystrokes. So they correspond on a one for one basis to our bond terminology, but they're just more generic. So, for example, this interest rate key maps to our yield, or what we really call the yield to maturity. If we come over here, this is the future value in time value of money parlance. And from the perspective of a bond, we call that the face value, or the par, or the principal, or the redemption. And then the payment key, this is, in bond terms, what we call the coupon. And so, if we're going to price a bond, what we're going to do is solve for this keystroke right here, which is the present value, which in bond terms is the price of our bond. And so, for example, I've got two sets of assumptions here for bonds. In this row, a bond with a face value of 1,000, a five-year maturity, a 10% coupon paid semi-annually, and a 12% yield. The tricky thing about this is just to remember that we're going to convert to semi-annual periods. And so the equivalent of these assumptions for our calculator are right here to the right. The number of periods is 10 because we have 10 six-month periods over the next five years. Our yield of 12% is converted to 6% every six months. And similarly, our coupon payment of $50 is one half of $100 which is what we would get every year because 10% times the face of a thousand is a hundred dollars. So let's do an actual example here on the second row and I'll populate these cells and I'll assume the face value of the bond is a thousand. The bond matures or time to maturity in 10 years, a 4% coupon paid semi-annually with a 6% yield. So the first thing I need is n, the number of periods. That's going to be the number of years multiplied by 2, 26-month periods over the next 10 years. So for, in terms of the calculator, we input a 20, and then we strike the n key. And then we go to the interest rate, or yield. That's going to be the 6%, but we're dividing by 2 to convert to our 6-month period. So in terms of the calculator, it's a 3 and then hit the I, I slash Y key. Now I'll skip the present value key because that's what we're solving for. We come back to that at the end. My payment is my face value multiplied by my coupon. If I stopped there, this would refer to the annual coupon. But again, we're doing six months. I want to divide by two. My coupon is $20 every six months. My future value, which in terms of bonds is our face or par or principal or redemption, is a thousand. So I've input all four keystrokes and then I can come back to the present value key and I just hit compute and the present value key and I'll get the answer for the price of the bond. And I can do the same, I'll get the same result in Excel and actually, how lucky am I, I use the same, I even have the same function key in Excel, we'll give them the same result equals PV, I give it the rate, comma, the number of periods, comma, the payment, which is the coupon of $20, comma, and the face value of 1000 close parens, and I get back the price of the bond is $851, same thing I would get with the calculator. Okay, that was price, let's take a look at yield. The framework's much the same. The difference is, this time, I'm going to need to be given a price. Remember, we need four inputs in order to solve for the fifth. And the difference now is I'm going to be solving for the interest rate or the yield. And so here I have an example bond with its equivalence for the calculator. I'm going to, and then I'm going to do an example here in the second row. 
let's assume the face value of my bond is a thousand ten year maturity six percent coupon paid semi-annually and now I'm given the price of nine hundred fifty dollars for the bond so first I need to input n so that's going to be number of years multiplied by two I'm going to skip the interest rate key and go right to the price of the bond and I'm going to input a negative uh, price in this case a price of 950 corresponds to an input of negative 950 that's to keep our the direction of our cash flow straight and the, maybe the way to think about that is if I purchase the bond it's a cash outflow cash out of my pocket I need to spend that money in order for it to come back to me in the form of coupons and principal okay then I need to give it the payment which is going to be the face times the coupon divided by two so thirty dollar coupon every six months and again my face value doesn't need any conversion it goes in as a thousand dollar face value so on the calculator I would input those four and then I can come back to the interest rate which is really our yield to maturity and solve for that and if I did on the calculator it's the same result I'll get with the Excel function called rate where I give it the number of periods comma the payment comma the present value which is the price of the coupon comma and the future value and so that rate function is the same as using the calculator keys I hit enter and I get a, a result of 3.35 percent here's the last tricky part we need to remember that the basis for all of this the periodicity was six months we converted these annual maturity and coupons to six month periods we solved in terms of a six month period so this yield really applies not to a year but to the six month period we want to annualize it the way that we can annualize that this is we can simply multiply by two to convert it to its bond equivalent yield that's just by convention because you may recognize it's not really my effective yield if I compound it over six months I'd really get a higher yield but we can do this we can multiply by two to convert to a bond equivalent yield in this case given this price of nine hundred fifty dollars and the coupon our bond equivalent yield is six point six nine percent and so that's how we compute the yield this is David Harper the bionic turtle thanks for your time